This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mumbunu. The IEBC has unveiled details of its 41 billion shilling general election budget with figures showing the commission will spend as much as 120 shillings per person to audit the voters register. The commission estimated it would spend 2.6 billion shillings to review the voter register and verify voters, translating to 120 shillings per voter. Only 2.5 million new voters were registered, far from the target of 6 million. The figure factors in that the just concluded mass voter registration increased the number of registered voters to 22.2 million. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has said that members of the County Assembly should not resign by February 9th. In a statement on Wednesday, the Commission said that this was after the High Court on May 4, 2021, exempted a sitting President, Deputy President, Governors and Deputies, MPs and MCAs from resigning. The Commission, however, said that MCAs can resign before submitting their nomination to returning officers. At least three high-flying cabinet secretaries have decided to forgo their political ambitions so as to play pivotal roles in President Uhuru Kenyatta's transition period. In a surprising move, CS's Ukuriatani, Peter Munya and Mutahi Kago have opted to continue serving in Uhuru's government until the end of his term. The three were some of the most influential CS's with political backgrounds whom Uhuru tapped to steady his administration after they lost the 2017 polls. After picking his daughter from school last Friday, Nasoro Mohammed Ali, aged 43, returned to his house at Kwagoa in Mtwapa, Kilifi County, at around 4.30 p.m. He did not know that about 30 minutes before he returned, at least six people had come and positioned themselves strategically around his house. Two of them even had tea at a cafe right outside his house, the same cafe where he deposits his house keys when he leaves. And a childhood friend of the two Kianjokoma brothers who were murdered last year on Wednesday recounted to court their last steps before their demise. John Jeru was the first witness to take the stand in the hearing of the murder case against six police officers accused of killing Emmanuel Ndwiga and Benson Ndwiga. The officers charged include Benson Boothia, Consolata Karioki, Nicholas Jeriot, Martin Wanyama, Lilian Chemuna and James Moniki. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.